Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to Bootstrap 3 Lesson 5 and in this video we're going to talk about rows. Alright then, so we already saw in a previous tutorial that Bootstrap's grid system is split up into rows and columns just like any other kind of grid, okay? So we'd use a row when we want to create a new row of HTML elements on the grid. For example, we could have a strip of three elements that we want to place in a row next to each other, right? Which is like the second row here. So we'd put those three elements within a row. And each one of those elements would be assigned a width in column value. So they've all got a width here of four columns and they're equally spaced apart, okay? So that's how rows work. Now, a row can have up to 12 elements in it, just like this. One, two, three, four, blah, 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 up to 12. And each element is taking up one column in width, right? Or it can have as little as one element in the row and it takes up the full width, which is 12 columns in width. Now, to use a row, we have to place it within the container, either fluid or fixed, and we covered containers in the last tutorial. So if you've not checked that out, go and have a look at that first. We have to put it in a container, and then when we make a row, we'll obviously need to add columns inside the row to divide the content horizontally, like this here, okay? So let's have a look at an example. All right then, guys, so I've just got up a uh, simple example right here, and you can see what I've got here is, first of all, we'll start at the top of the body tag. This is just a div that I've made up, nothing to do with bootstrap, and I've just given a max width of 1200 pixels to keep everything within that, uh, and a margin of zero auto, so it's central, and then just a little bit of padding around the side. Now, within that, I've got the bootstrap class container fluid, which means I want a fluid container, right? And uh, remember, that's the, the one that's kind of fluid between breakpoints. It expands to the full width of its parent element. So that's going to either be the viewport or this thing here for viewports larger, uh, larger than 1200 pixels. And so within that container right there, we've got two rows. We've got this one here and this one here. So they've both got a class of row. Now that is a bootstrap class and we use that class whenever we want to make a new row. Okay, so two rows. Now in the first row, I've got two columns and each one of those is a div. Now, we don't need to worry about this lot at the minute, all, all this junk. This is uh, all the column kind of classes. I'm going to talk about those later. All I want to know is that these here are the different elements and I'm assigning them column widths basically. Okay, so the columns are within the rows, which is in the container. So secondly, I've got another row here, and in that there's six elements right there, and I've given each one of those elements some classes as well to give it widths in terms of rows, uh, in terms of columns, sorry. So, key points, container surrounding the whole lot, then we have rows, okay? So there's two rows of elements. So let's take a look at this in a browser. All right, here we are on this awesome website again, and um, we've got the top row here, which has two elements, and the second row here, which has six elements, right? So this is it, these are just the rows. And imagine the grid overlaying this, this would be eight columns in width. So there's eight columns going down like that, okay? And this one here would be four columns in width, and that adds up to 12 columns. So each row always adds up to 12 columns in width, right? So same with these, each thumbnail is two columns in width. So two times six is 12. So that row is adding up to 12 as well. So if we just make this a little bit smaller, okay, now you can see what I've done is move these onto separate lines like that. Now that is not a separate row. These are still in the same row in the HTML. It's just that for smaller screens, Bootstrap does all the responsive work for you. And when it needs to, okay, it splits the, um, the, the elements onto different lines because what I've said is each element right here on small screens I want 12 columns wide and this one is 12 columns wide as well so you can't physically have them next to each other okay in the same row technically speaking but in the HTML they are still in the same row all right so that's what rows are all about we use rows to make a new line of content or HTML elements and then within those rows, we place elements which we apply column widths to. And we're going to speak about columns a little bit more in the next tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave those down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, yada, yada. And I'll see you in the next one.